G'day guys, welcome back to New Zealand. I thought I've got a day off today, so I thought I'd have a ride out to Lake Tatera. I've been out here a few times, quite a few times before. I shot a vlog here a while back, uh, back end of last summer. I'll put a link to it up there somewhere. Just thought I'd have a drive out today and uh, just give a van a run and practice a few little bits and bats. Now, today got off to an absolutely disastrous start. I uh, opened the back doors, jumped out of the van, walked around to turn the gas on, and unfortunately, uh, walked straight into the bike rack. So I gave myself a crack on the head and freaking cut my head. Nothing major, but you know, learning curve. Uh, the bike rack, I've not used this yet, and it sticks out like a sore thumb, so I'm thinking that might come off actually. I might just get rid of that because I'm not going to really need it at the moment. And the second thing I did, I've got an, I, I, I've been working on an idea for a, for a drone shot, an ep, a really epic sort of drone shot. And I think, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work, but I crashed it. And then I reset it and set off again to do the shot and unfortunately crashed it again. Now the second time I crashed it, I broke one of the rotors, which is, eh, what can you do? So, uh, that shot's not gonna happen. Uh, no drone shots are going to happen today, unfortunately, until I get that repaired. But anyway, so we didn't get off to a great start, but I've kind of sat down, I've taken stock and chilled out a bit. I've had a bite to eat, I'm feeling pretty good now, just having a bit of a drink. And then we're going to go out for a bit of an explore, wander around Lake Tatera. The conditions, it's nice and warm, uh, but we've got a little bit of... A little bit of cloud coming in and out and uh, so I think we'll just have a bit of a wander around the lake and we'll just chill out really try and make a few photographs all right guys it's a beautiful area let's go walk <laughs> Lake Tatera and I'm just working on a working on a couple of little shots around this sort of reed bed in the background there and you've got the, the big hill in the background on the other side of the lake which is it's the site of the uh, Guffrey Smith Arboretum uh, outdoor pursuit centre that sort of thing and uh, beautiful little place my kids both stayed there when they were younger uh, on school camps I, uh, I stayed with them absolutely fantastic time fantastic so I'm just kind of working on that I've got some quite distinctive clouds moving in and out of the scene uh, there's not much light on the scene so these are black and white I'm calling the shot now black and white I've taken them in color but yeah, there's not a lot of color on this scene at the moment so uh, black and white's the way to go oh, guys look at that lone tree in the water down there potentials there the one over my shoulder there potential for a shot from ground level it didn't work too distracting in the background couldn't isolate it so just across the little track here is a quite a steep bank so I kind of shinned up the steep bank a little bit precariously uh, managed to get the uh, tripod in position and uh, crack off a shot on the back of the camera it's got potential until you've got a shot all right guys I'm gonna try and make my way back down to ground level now and continue on my merry way Taking a few shots that I'm quite pleased with. I think they're gonna work, I think they're gonna work out okay. That was kind of the height of the day. So sort of midday, one o'clock-ish. It's now 3.30. And I'm thinking I 
might hang about for a while. Sunset is around about sort of six o'clock, so I've got a few hours to wait. Uh, but the way I figure it, there's no need to rush home because I'm home. This is it. This is my home. Have home, will travel. So that's my uh, that's my excuse, and I'm going to sit my short ass down. We're going to enjoy my cup of coffee, and then I'm going to read my book for an hour. Uh, I've kind of since I've been in the van. I've discovered a love of reading again. The stuff I'm reading is probably not good for me. I'm all about serial killers and stuff. And I'm not talking about breakfast cereal. It's a bit grim, but I'm kind of enjoying it in a sadistic, sad sort of way. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to kick back, relax for an hour, enjoy my coffee, and uh, about five o'clock ish, I might get off my ass and go for a bit of a wander again and uh, see what I come up with. I'm thinking if we get a few more clouds rolling in and if we get a bit of a break in the cloud as well then we could be on for a couple of nice shots uh, if not no stress okay guys I shall uh, check in later around about 5 40 sunsets not gonna happen it's just not happening at all it's got grayer and more miserable as the day's gone on uh, but that's gonna work in his favor I reckon We've got some pretty nice, moody, thick clouds rolling around. And I'm going to work in black and white again. Uh, I think it's just it's built for black and white today, and that's the way we're going to go. Uh, we're going to try and get some long exposures of the crowd, clouds rolling over the sort of distant hills, and the closer hills, and uh, we're just going to see how that works. I think we're going to get some nice shots. Uh, sunset, we're not going to get any golden light on the scene at all. Uh, in fact, if anything, we're going to get a bit of rain because uh, I can feel a few spots coming down as we talk and uh, so I can just crack on and see how we go. Let's go. Well guys, you wouldn't believe it. It's been okay all day, it's been lovely all day. I've come out to get a few shots and it's uh, decided to turn to custard. Well, rain actually, not so much custard. Uh, but it's adding to the atmosphere and the atmosphere is decidedly wet. So I've just found a bit of a shot, there's another tree in the water, quite a bit of flooding around here of late uh, and there's quite a few trees obviously pass, partially submerged and I found one here, I've had to climb up a bit of a bank again, not too high this time, not too uh, dangerous but up a bank just to isolate the tree against the background. I think it's looking quite nice, there's some quite moody clouds just about to, uh, quite dark clouds just about to sort of uh, go over that area. And I think added to the long exposure, I should get a nice shot out of this. I'm gonna stick it down for another half an hour or so, see if I can uh, squeeze out another couple of shots, see how it goes. Uh, but video wise, I think that's your better. All right guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, it's been a cracking day, I've enjoyed it. I've managed to read quite a bit of my book and uh, enjoyed a bit of time in the van. All right guys, from uh, a very wet now, Lake Tatera, in Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. Kakite and all. I'll catch you next time. All the best, guys. Even though there's absolutely no light on the scene whatsoever, in the background there, when I move my brolly, there you go. Uh, the reeds, just there, in front of the camera, the reeds are standing out quite well. It's, uh, there's absolutely no light whatsoever on them, uh, but they are standing out quite well. It's looking quite nice. I might sort of leave this one in colour because the reeds are looking quite golden brown uh, and the rest of the scene is pretty much uh, monochrome as you can see in the background there. I've got that bit of an overhanging tree there and the fence line and just framing that there hill in the background and I think that's working quite nicely. I'm quite happy with this shot. Uh, this, could be my sh this could be my shot of the day. I've kind of lingered about here quite a while. It's real, real dark now. It's pretty much over and done with. Uh, but I'm going to stick here a bit longer because uh, I quite like it. It's looking pretty good. So guys, it's damn near dark now. I've had a cracking day and I've finished. Can't see a damn thing out here at the minute. But the darker it's got, I think the better the shots have got. On the back of the camera at least anyway. So from New Zealand, Lake Tatera, Kakite or not, we'll catch you next time. Oh.